Hey guys, I'm here today to help you decode yarn labels and all those mysterious runes and hieroglyphics that you see on them. You've probably heard at some point or another which yarn weight you're supposed to get, whether it be from a pattern or from a friend, and you may or may not know how to tell what weight you're actually getting except for by feeling it, which is a little iffy at best. But every yarn label will tell you what weight it is. Where it gets confusing is they don't all look the same. So sometimes they have, like this one, a little symbol of a yarn ball with a number inside of it. And it actually tells you which weight it is right here, which is bulky. Not every yarn will have that, so you can't always rely on that symbol. You can't get too comfortable just looking at the yarn ball number and looking for where it says what weight it is. So what I look for is the recommended needle size, which is just a recommendation. It doesn't mean that you have to use that size needle when you're using this particular yarn. It's just what the label says to help you know how thick it is. So we have fingering. This label doesn't have a lot of information. It doesn't have any of those symbols. It tells you how to wash it, but then it has all these little measurements over here. The one you're going to look for is where it says US needles or sometimes I'll have a symbol of the two knitting needles and it'll have a number under it. Same thing. And this one recommends size one to two, which means that it's a fingering weight. Don't ask me why they call it that. And then this one again, it's kind of hidden in the middle of the ball. So you have to really look for it sometimes. So you find it over here, tells you the fiber content and how many yards it is. And then it says six stitches per inch on US five. There it is, that's your clue. That's the needle size five, which means that it's sport. DK, which stands for double knitting. You can use it for more than just double knitting, but that's what it stands for. Um, I didn't know that for a long time. This one also says it right here on the label that it's DK weight, but if you don't have that, again, look for the needle size. And this one says US five to seven, which sometimes DK weight yarn will say size six. This one says five to seven, just to be a little more free spirited, I guess. It's DK. Worsted weight will tell you to use size seven or eight sometimes. The next weight up is Aran, or sometimes it's called heavy worsted. That's size nine recommended needles. Bulky, which is this one, is gonna recommend a size 10. And then super bulky, which is just what it sounds like, recommends a size 10.5 to 15, anywhere in that range. There's actually different kinds of super bulky. You have to sort of Feel that one and see just how super the bulky is. But that's really all there is to it for finding the weight. Um, <laughs> I'll type out in the description of the video which size is recommended per weight of yarn so you can reference back to that if you need to.